um, celebrated Halloween yesterday. Wicked ass holiday for y'all, man. For our people. Because, like the brother said, Halloween, that, that, that goes back to wickedness that had what well, well, children being sacrificed at the Bohemian Grove. Well, now it's the Bohemian Grove, but uh, no, no, not the Bohemian Grove, but back then was uh, where was that? Uh, uh, I'm gonna bring it out now. The bus gonna break it down. He's gonna bring it out. For a lot of your people, man. Did the Celts? Worship, yeah, worship Ireland. Bunch of big ghosts and goblins and all that nonsense, man. They had this. Yeah, you put you putting curses on yourself. Yeah, you had a simple ass Negro yesterday at my job. He's like, yeah, we gonna um. He got his boys calling him, telling him to hurry up. He's like, yeah, cause we gonna purge. I said, you nigga, you sound stupid as hell. That's what Jake is, man. I said, yeah, we gonna purge. I said, you gonna purge. That's how Jake is, man. I mean, when I was growing up doing Halloween, you know, yeah, it was up trick or treat, whatever, you know. And then when I got a little older, like 15, 16, you know, you stop robbing, you know, people and shit like that. I know how it is, man. But I look at it now, as 42, like that, that was fucking stupid. And I'm telling the dude, like, yo, I said, that mean, you gonna what? You gonna just run up on people, snatch them up, whatever? I mean, that niggas ain't do nothing. I said, man, you niggas caught it. I said, yo, but once you do that shit to the white neighborhood, man, go to Park Avenue and run that shit. See what happens with your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? I was telling the difference between real and willing. You could be real, right? You could be real, but if you're not willing to go to prison, then that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's a difference, man. I said, you could be real, but are you willing to go to prison? Are you willing to do 10 to 20 year bid, man? No. You know? So how these dudes, man, they are still fucking stupid, man. Let me go on to this quick. It says, Halloween. Halloween's origins date back to the ancient Celtic festival, the Samahan, of So In, So In. The Celts who lived 2000, and the Celts, a majority of the Celts were Jake, man. Who lived 2000 years ago in the area that is now Ireland. The United Kingdom and Northern France celebrated their new year on November 1st. So that'll be today. This day marked the end of summer and harvest and the beginning of dark, cold winter a time of year that were often associated with human death. That's what we were celebrating, man. See, that shows you these people in this society, they don't got a mind of their own. It's just whatever set up, you just follow. You're supposed to think outside of that, especially if you're an adult. Because kids are just doing what you teach them. But you a grown ass person. Getting dressed up like a damn fool, man. See what I'm saying? Being retarded. But anyway, we keep reading. It says, um, Kels believed that on that night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. What about these niggas was bugged out? On the night of October 31st, they celebrated sowing. When it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to earth, in addition to causing trouble and damaging crops, Kels thought that the presence of the under of the worldly spirits made it easier for the Druids or Celtic priests to make predictions about the future. For a people entirely dependent on volatile natural world, these prophecies were a source of comfort and direction from the long dark winter. And that's what that whole Game of Thrones shit, they, uh, they incorporated a lot of that too as well. Alright? But uh, anyway, during the celebration, the Celts were constantly consists of animal heads, skins, attempting to tell each other's fortunes. When the celebrations of Toba, they relit the hard fire, which they had extinguished earlier that evening from the sacred bonfire. Then it goes into the Romans, but it really goes back to the Celts. It says, by the 800s, the influence of Christianity had spread into Celt lands in the 7th century. But even though it spread to those lands, how the hell are they still celebrating it today, man? Cause that's almost a damn near a national holiday. A damn Halloween, man. I mean, you can basically say it is. You know, I mean, you're not gonna, uh, 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 let's go, uh, you know, we still have to go to work in school or whatever, but, I mean, it's all over, man. A lot of people do the trick and treat and shit, man. Yeah. 
It says the celebration was also called All Hallows or All Hallowmas. And the night before it, the night of sowing began to be called All Hallows Eve. And eventually, Halloween even late in 80, 1000, the church would make November 2nd All Souls Day. I show you the Catholic Church is number of witchcraft as well. Because that's nowhere in the Bible, man. The scripture says God is a God of the living and not the dead. A day to honor the dead. It was celebrated similarly to sowing with big bonfires, parades, and dressing up in costumes as saints, angels, and devils. Together, the three celebrations, the eve of all saints, all saints, and all souls, were called Halamus. That's all wickedness, man. Give me 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. So that Halloween is wicked as hell, man. But if people would look at you, they'll look at you in the garments and say, y'all are cold. But you got your kids dressed up like demons. So I'm saying, which the majority of these kids are demons anyway. All right, because they were spawned by demons, wicked ass women. But anyway, read that. The book of First Corinthians, at the ten verse twenty. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, like the Druids, because they were Gentiles, man. They were in a Gentile state of mind. The things they were sacrificing to. Read on. They sacrificed the devil. They were sacrificing to devils. Read on. And not to the Most High. That wasn't a sacrifice to the Most High. Where does it say All Souls Day or Halloween in the scriptures, man? Where is that in the scriptures? For you fake ass Christians out there who are gonna go to church tomorrow. But yesterday you were dressed like a damn demon. Huh? But you love Jesus. Give me a break. Read on. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. You ain't supposed to have fellowship with devils. Read on. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You can't. So I bet you to ask, especially a lot. I'm talking about the white man because he's a devil anyway. So he could dress up like a goblin every day of the week if he wants to. I'm talking about you Negroes and Hispanics and you Native Indians. If you were sir question you, inquire you, do you believe in a higher power? Yeah, I believe in So why the hell are you dressed up like that, man? What are you doing? Why you got your kids dressed up like that? Trick or treat. Do you know the history on it? No, you don't. Do you know the history on things stealing? That's about to come up. No, you don't. Do you know the history on Christmas? Do you know the Bible tells you not to celebrate Christmas? Because that's a pagan Babylonian holiday. See, all these are traditions of the past. Okay, they just repackaged it up and gave it a different name. But these are the same people all over again anyway. Because reincarnation is in the Bible, man. Okay, the same devil that was back then is back there today. The old slave master probably is working on your job right now. You see? But we gonna get the upper hand real soon. But it shows me you niggas ain't deep, man. Still celebrating Halloween, man. Unbelievable, man. Give me, uh... I'll do the scripture for that. Give me um, Deuteronomy 18 and 10. Give me Psalms 96 and 5. After that. Oh, Hallow's Eve. The time's going by quick. Matter of fact, before you get that, get Leviticus. You're going to get two scriptures. Leviticus 20 and 2. On down. And get Jeremiah 32, 35. Jeremiah 32, 35, and Leviticus 20 on down. Okay? Because you have another celebration in the scriptures, Molech. Which is that owl over there in a Bohemian grove. Which every year the elites of this society, along with politicians, Along with business leaders, they all go over there, man. Over there in San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? Being faggots. And they do sacrifices to that big ass owl over there called Mole. That's also on the dollar bill. See? Which is what the Druids were doing ain't no different than what the most I gonna tell you not to do right now. Get Leviticus 20 and 2. The book of Leviticus chapter 20 verse 2. We're reading the law on it. Read. Again, thou shalt not say to the children of Israel, whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of the seed of the Moloch. And that's when you have your kids dressed like demons and goblins. 
giving your seed to Molech, man. You put curses on yourself. Why the hell would you want to dress up like a devil? I thought this was a Judeo-Christian society. Why the hell would you want to dress up like a devil, man? Oh, it's cute. The most I gonna kill your ass, man. Read on it. What did the Lord say? So you niggas and Hispanics that took part in that, you put curses on yourself, man. The Lord said he shall surely be put to death, man. Because now it's more spiritual. Back then they were literally doing that. Read on. The people of the land shall throw him with stones. Great. And what's the stones you're going to get hit with? Missiles. You're going to be preserved. All right. Read on. And I will set my face against that man. So that's what the Lord has set his face against two thirds of Israel, man. Because you're still taking part in things in the world. You're still celebrating these carnal holidays, man. It's got nothing to do with you. All right, but read on. And I will cut him off from among the people because he has given his seed unto Molech. Give me Jeremiah 32, 35 now. See that? So all our people gave is there nothing is more? He said, he has given unto the sea of the Molech to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. And you, the two thirds of that, you have defiled the Most High's name, man. And you defiled the sanctuary, which is what? Your body. That's what the scripture says. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, because you are Israelite. Your body represents the temple of the Most High. And when you take part in wickedness, you defile your temple. And you defile his name. So he's going to kill you, all right? Like the Lord said, he's not with me, he's against me. Who, whosoever shall not seek the Lord God of Israel, you're going to get put to death. It means all the calamities that's going to come on this society, you're going to get take part in it. You and your children, man. Bunch of knucklehead niggas and spicks, man. In the year 2014, you're still following the white man and his wickedness. Don't worry, that's coming. That's going to stop the result. All right, but read on. But if, uh, okay. And if the people of the land do any ways, are their eyes from the man? I might not jump to Jeremiah now. Jeremiah 35. The book of Jeremiah is the 32 verse 35. And they built the high places of Baal. Wow. Which is uh, another name for Nimrod. All right. Or the god of the community or the sun god or whatever you want to call it. Which are the valley of the sun of Canaan. Uh-huh. They were doing that again back then, man. Jeremiah's reporting it. Since they were doing that wickedness back then. Today they're still doing it. But they, they, it's not, they call it Halloween. You have, and you're dressing your kids up like demons, man. And all kind of uh, mythical characters. That's passing them through the fire. That's passing them through the fire, man. Like you know, back in the day, we used to celebrate Halloween. Right? Now we're back right then, man. We can see the so called Google era now. You can research it. There's no excuse for me. You're going to be asleep. You see the signs happening. You see death approaching America. You're going to take a part in folly. That's what the Bible says. Folly is second great thing to See, if time's fast, we didn't know any better. Because the truth is not really published right now. But now you have to look all the corners, all the top of states, all throughout the world. There's no excuses. We can ask that in 13. There's no excuses, man. So you're going to pay for it with your blood now. Three. The book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 13. From when the Jews of... Uh, no, that's uh, test 30. Let me have 30. What, 30? Uh, 17 and 30. 17 and 30. Okay, America going to be destroyed. The white man going down. And two-thirds of you Negroes in space. That ain't right, man. That's the message. That's the good news. Read on. The book of Acts at the 17 for 30. And the times of this ignorance, the most high wink at. The times of your ignorance, the most high wink at. I mean, he act like he didn't see it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Were you eating pork? 
Were you back then committing adultery? When you were taking part in stupidity like Halloween? Celebrating Christmas? Thanks, stealing? All the retarded ass holidays, man. Bunny rabbits laying eggs. That's what they believe in America, man. Foolishness. But the scripture said when you took part in that, the Lord winked at your ignorance. <laughs> but read on. Well, buddy, we're going to hear now, read. But now, command. But now, because we're in the last days. We're at the end of Esau's rulership. America's his last stand. Now, read on. But now, the commandment all men everywhere. And we said all men everywhere for you simpletons that read that. I'm talking about the Israelites that scattered. That's the only people the apostles went, was out and sent out to teach. What's Acts called? The Acts of the Apostles. Who are the apostles sent out to teach? The Israelites. In Matthew 10, 5, on down. What were the apostles sent out to do? To gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Alright? The book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 5. These brought the house of Israel forth and commanded them. Because that's what apostle means, sent out. Alright, read. Say, go not into the way of the Gentiles. We're not, we not out here for the white man, number one. Uh, his slutty ass woman. The Chinese, the East Indian. They could come and listen. They could be warned too. And anytime the heathens come up, what we always tell them, go back to your country. Yeah. Go back and wait for us to come get you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We go get you, man. But we not out here for them. We are here to condemn them. And that's it. But anyway, read on. These 12 young sides have been forced to command them saying, Go not into the world of Gentiles, and enter any the city of Samaritan, and enter ye not. We read on, which are the filthy as Ethiopians. Alright? That's why they got uh, freaking Ethiopians to Jerusalem. Because they know that the Jews are black. But those are not the Jews. Okay? The Jews right here. Right here in America, right here in the ghetto in any state you go to, those are the children of God, man. Not the filthy, rat bastard, so-called Jews in Israel. Those guys are impossible. Y'all gonna be destroyed, man. Right? Read on. So go rather in the lower seat of the house of Israel to burn the wood. That's the wood. The wood burn. That's still the wickedness, man. Give every man according to his work. If you was a hypocrite, you gon' you gonna have your portion with the hypocrites. Right? You gonna have your portion with the hypocrites, man. Well, All right. And two thirds of our people are hypocrites. That's what the scripture said. We're sent to a hypocritical nation because they'll be the first ones on Sunday to jump up and down. Talk about they love Jesus. Find a ball you need to Alright, go ahead. You good? Yeah, you good. Go ahead. Okay. So what's love? Love is the commandments. And celebrate Halloween. That's a direct violation of the scriptures, man. Direct violation of the Holy Scriptures. You know what I did? Those folks high like that. The teenager uh, going into a 18, you're still celebrating that anymore, man, because you have common sense. What the hell are you damn 18, 19 still Halloween parties, man? 
How old are you, man? Come on, man. Let me do it around 18 and 10. How people don't know, you put curses on yourself. When you put that Christmas tree in your house, you put curses on yourself as well. Because the Lord is not dealing with that, man. That's an idol, man. Yeah, you reverencing other gods, whether you know it or not, when you celebrate these things. Nah, 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 the scripture don't say that, man. That's adding on to the word. The scripture don't say that. It just say you're not supposed to have that in your house, period, man. And they say what? They decked it with silver and gold. That's your Christmas tree. That's a pagan Babylonian holiday. Right? Anyway, read that. What's Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 1? 10. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Oh, that's the uh, There you go again. I cut Halloween. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Because you have your kids pass through the fire. Sacrificing them unto Molech, man. You sacrifice. Another name for Molech is what? Satan. Satan, man. What do you call that God Buddha? What do you call him Allah? What do you call him uh, uh, uh Harry Krishna? Whatever dumb Vishnu. The name for that is Satan. Any other power outside of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is Satan. Okay? And they literally passed it to Satan because they had him dressed like him yesterday. They said that's always the number one, especially for women, they said that's the number one costume. Dressing up like the damn demon. That's their true spirit anyway. Wickedness, man. But anyway, read on. holiday, so-called holiday. That's what it's about. Divination, read on. Oh, and observe the signs. Oh, and these women love that, man. That's called what? The Zodiac. You ain't supposed to be doing that. You gotta figure out your sign. That's stupidity, man. Alright, read on. Oh, the Enchanter. Like these fake-ass preachers, they're enchanted. Okay? Obama is a, a chief of enchanter because he got he had these people put it with what is change we can believe in it yes we can it's showing you the change right now it's called martial law it's called Ebola alright it's called death man depopulation that's the change you're gonna bring to America because he's nothing but a Jewish puppet like we've been saying okay read on or a witch or a witch. Three. Or trauma. Or uh, a source of familiar spirit. Which is a warlock. Okay. You enchant a, uh, you're dealing with familiar spirits. Okay, trying to invoke the spirits of the dead. Like they do over there in Haiti. Another name for that is necromancy. But anyway, keep, keep reading. No, uh, no a wizard. Or a necromancer. Yeah, necromancer. Them. them Levites, they good at that, boy. All in spirits from the dead. They're just like that woman did for Saul. Okay, when she was a Hamite. The Hamites are also good at that, boy. They're very good at that. Man. That's what Eve do to today. See? Because the end of that is death, man. The Lord said you're supposed to be involved in that, so we cut that. We cut that Halloween. We went into the history. We went into the scriptural history. And we show you it's a direct violation of the whole time, man. It's a direct violation. Who gonna come back to judge the planet Earth? The one who in the car of Jesus Christ, man. I'm back, man, man. Okay. You, you expect to stand for your jail. You go from the heaven. And, uh, you're crying in that day, boy. You see a whole black man with red eyes and white with the afro standing on top of the so-called UFO, man. The scripture says, great, but we had fell on 
everyone knows that song, and we could just imagine that. And the moment we're sitting here about the start, and I'm the son of man, it's not going to be, what the hell is wrong? It's Shippers, Shippers said, everybody shall run. Every eye shall see him run. And serve him, and they all going to confess that he is the Lord. Everything going to come back to you, and we're standing, who you are, and who he is. Even though we're standing, even though we're standing, You what? But have committed all judgment unto the Son. I saw you done, boy. You are finished, man. Through! Alright? The scripture says the Father judges no man. So you're up there as a most high. The most high. Right? He said, nah, he gave all judgment to the Son. You're done. You're done, man. You were in the camp. In the camp, man. All those winters and all of those summer days, fifty a time. You should have been out there in the world. You should have been out there in the world. You should have pulled out. Hey, you should have got pulled out, man. You should have joined the camp. Yeah, so you joined the top of the camp. Look at that rap video, man. Something. Yeah, because you wasted your time. Yeah, you should have said you can check your house. We are on the top. The book of John, five months. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment with the Son. He committed all judgment to the Son. You deal with me. That's what the Father said he had a shot. You can't wait to judge you. <laughs> yeah, he gonna get you, man. There are all things. Give me Ephesians 1 and 20. you they're not the same person. Because it tells you the Father raised up the Son. And put him at his right hand. Three. Man above all principality. So he's above all spirits. And he's above Satan. When people was gladly purchasing yesterday. Alright, read on. And power and might and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also that which is to come. In this world, Yahweh tries to name. Next world, Yahweh Shah is a man, man. Not no damn Jesus. That's not his name. Okay? That's not his name, man. But he's above everybody, man. Alright? Really? Because he's the only one that was perfect. And the only one, he, he, he shed his blood for the 12 tribes. So the Father got mercy again, man. Because without that sacrifice, Israel would have been finished, man, as a nation. But Yahweh Shah had mercy. Can he read it? And have put all things under his feet. Everything is underneath you, Howard Shai's feet. So you finish, like you said, I saw and other clowns out there that reject the Son of Man. You're done. Okay, read on. And gave him to be the head over all things to the church. There you go, that's what he said, the 
call the judgment. No man. But he gave all judgment to the sun, man. Man, that's why America will be destroyed, man. Because of wickedness like that. Wickedness like that. Okay, this place, this place, this place will be destroyed, man. Because it promotes wickedness, man. All kind of homo men holding other men's hands. That's madness, man. That is absolute madness. And once upon a time, people knew I was wrong. See, but we just read the scripture on witchcraft. That's a part of witchcraft right there. It's through the media. They've got people thinking. There's nothing wrong with that. You see? If you remember that 1823, matter of fact. They know we're talking about them. That's the next thing. We got faggots roaming on the That's what we got here to review. Okay? See, I'm to do something about charity and brotherly love, which that's important. But the reason why they keep coming is because they're scared to bring out other things. They're fearful, man. They're not a fearful one. Okay? And the elders do bring out charity and brotherly love. What are you talking about? You can't just be all constantly. No, we just put out the balance. We can bring out faith earlier today. Right there. The balance of the world. It shows you that you need faith also, man. That's the other side of it. Okay? Ready? Military stretch in, they gave me the corruption of the China. You see what I'm saying? Ebola. It's crazy in America. Like we gonna read it now. It's in Ezra two, uh, chapter two, verse ten. Right here. The Lord said, "What? Well, I'm going to prepare a place for you." Verse ten. The Lord said, "I'm going to prepare a place for you. The right you can eat, um, eat on the altar." These are the trials. In 2 Ezra 2, verse 10. The book of 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 the book
but an element of sweet savor that shall neither labor nor be buried. That's the kingdom of heaven. That is the kingdom of heaven. Man. See that? The Lord said, keep reading. All right. The scripture says, you shall neither labor. Which means you know more working. All right, read on. Whatever you want. Oh, and ye shall receive pray for a few days you. And that's what we do. We pray for a few days, man. It's kingdom, man. That scripture says eights in the day. Read. That day, that day may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. The kingdom is already prepared for you. This is just works of faith, man. It's like extra credit, okay? The elect is already sealed. Oh, it's just showing your faith. Alright? So, with that, you know, camera about to die, man. With that, we're going to say all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the strength to come out here week in and week out. Lord willing, we are part of 144,000. We say double honors to the, the apostles and the elders of GMS for ruling well and to sacrificing their time and, and always, man, putting their uh, they life on the line, man, and bringing this truth out. And also, may Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, bless the other Akim out there. in your native Indian, that ain't right, that celebrated Halloween yesterday, that's continuing in your state of ignorance, man, may the most high destroy you, man, 